Okay, so let's look at the letter E. Uh, number one, does that look like something you've done before? What does that look like? The arctan rule, right? I believe for this one, the glove on. Uh, well, we're supposed to get something like 1 over a, that's 1 over 2 arctan of 3x over 2, but also the du part, so that's 1 over 6, I believe. All right? That's using the arctan rule, which we just covered a few weeks ago, actually during day one. All right? However, we are going to use trigonometric substitution to get into the result that a squared plus u squared is 1 over a arctan, but of course we're getting one with numbers, not the generalized version with just symbols. Well, the trick here is, the real trick here is this is not looking like a radical because ultimately we need to set uh, sub a trick substitution in terms of radicals, but, um, hmm, interesting. Uh, we can make this happen. We can turn this into a radical. How can we do that? Square root square. Square root square. I mean, you can square something and then take the square root again. You're back to the same quantity. That is, we can... Oops. So the square root of 4 plus 9x squared. Quantity squared. Because this square will cancel the radical here. All right, so that's, and now it looks like a radical, a lot like a radical expression. Well, so now we need to get back to the usual. Do we have a sum of squares? Do we have a difference of squares? What do we have? Sorry. It's a sum of squares. So let's set up the triangle. And in this case, well, that means our A equals to 2 and u equals 2, 3x. Okay, so let's set that up on the, on the right triangle. Number one, label theta, because we need a reference angle, of course. And well, in this case, uh, you can do it however you want. You can do the two on the opposite and the 3x on the adjacent. My advice is to have the variable one on, on the opposite side. That is a 3x and there's a 2 here. Of course, if we do the Pythagorean theorem to find the length of the hypotenuse, well, we should get back to the radical expression. Of course, you might want to do it if you want, that's fine, but ultimately you're going to get that. Okay, so here is where we do the substitution. So number one, we need an expression for the radical. And well, we can relate radical over 2 or radical over 3x. Which of those two is simpler? Radical over 2. Great. And what is that trigonometric function that relates those two? Secant. Well, in this case, let's solve for the radical part. and score. We have a substitution for the radical factor. All right. And then from there, okay, let's get a substitution so we can get the differential dx in terms of d theta. We, we, for that, we need to relate the 3x with either the radical or the 2. But which of these two is easier? 3x over radical or 3x over 2? Three x over two, and what is that trigonometric function that relates those two? Tangent. Tangent. All right, so let's solve for x. Two thirds tangent theta and uh, dx equals two thirds secant squared, and we got everything we need. So let's go back to the original integral, okay? Looks scary, but trust me, this is going to simplify really, really nicely. So number one, okay, that's the integral of the radical, which happens to be the two secant 
times the dx, where the dx is two-thirds uh, secant squared. All right, so uh, let's square the denominator. That's a two squared, which is four secant squared. And we have these two thirds. Multiply, I'm going to multiply this outside, and then I'm going to reduce with the four right here. That secant squared actually happens to divide out, which is really nice because our integral will end up being a really, really simple one. So 2 thirds times 1 fourth, the 2 reduces with the 4 to leave us with a, a 1 half or a 2 in the denominator. So these 2 thirds reduce to 1 sixth. The integral of d theta. And what's the integral of d theta? theta? Just theta. 1 sixth theta plus c. And well, what's theta here? Well, let me go back over here to solve for theta for this baby equation. We need to get rid of this tangent to get the theta itself. We do it by doing the inverse of tangent, which is taking arc tangent on both sides. So theta equals arc ten, which is simply one sixth arc ten. Isn't it the same result? using simply the arc ten rule. All right, so the idea of coming up with this connection is so you can see how the formula as well that pretty much at the beginning of this of the set of the course I just gave it I just gave you those formulas memorized memorize them but now that we are getting more into the different methods of integration more more advanced methods all these formulas that you have been asked to memorize there are ways to deduce them by using these methods all right so uh, I believe there's nothing else right that's the last uh, 